What's up everybody, hope you're doing awesome out there. Thanks for joining me for another video. In this video, we are comparing the SSP cast burrs to the new fellow Ode Gen 2 burrs. So in this Ode right here, I've got the SSP version one cast burrs. And in this Ode right here, I've got the new fellow Ode Gen 2 burrs. If you haven't seen my review of the new Gen 2 burrs for the fellow Ode, you can click this link up here and check that out. I would appreciate it. I would also appreciate if you click that subscribe button, the like button and shared this video with somebody else that you know that is interested in coffee stuff and is a coffee nerd like you and I. Before we go any further into this video, I wanna give a huge shout out to my friend Kim Ock of Pear Cup Works in Mesa, Arizona. He has generously let me borrow quite a few coffee related things uh, over the years, but he recently let me borrow both of these odes, one with the SSP cast and the Gen 2 uh, fellow burrs. Click the link down in the description to their Instagram, give them a follow, check them out. They do awesome stuff, amazing coffee shop, amazing roaster, uh, and Kim is always doing some really cool things with coffee. So check them out. As most of you out there know, SSP makes some of the nicest burrs that you can get. These burrs are modeled after the Didding 807 Lab Suite burrs, which are a very popular burr. In testing, these burrs have shown to create fantastic uniformity, but also create a very unique particle shape, which is what likely leads to the clarity and sweetness that you find in these burrs versus some other burrs. So I found in my own testing and comparing with these burrs that the cast burrs have a tendency at the same grind setting, both grinders set to just off of chirp on setting one, um, that the cast burrs grind a little bit coarser at the same grind setting. So I found that I had to go about two clicks finer with the cast burrs to get a similar grind size uh, to the Gen 2 burrs. I can tell you that um, even though they're the same basic grind size um, or as close as I can kind of get by eye, the, the particle shape is noticeably different with the SSPs uh, than the Gen 2 burrs. At the end of the day, it comes down to what you like, what your preferences are, and what sort of taste that you like to have in your cup of coffee. I think that we can all agree that SSP and Fellow and Gorilla Gear and a lot of the other burr manufacturers out there are probably pretty on par for quality these days. It just boils down to your personal preferences on, on what you like in your cup of coffee. So what we're gonna do now is brew up a cup of coffee, grinding coffee in both of these grinders and do a side-by-side -side comparison. All right, so we've got both of our cups of coffee brewed here and I wanted to give a shout out to my friends at uh, Presta Coffee Roasters in Tucson. We are using for this test, this beautiful Colombian coffee. Uh, they have a whole new series of Colombian coffees. There's three new ones, I believe, and they are absolutely phenomenal coffees. I'll leave a link down in the description to Presta Coffee Roasters. You definitely need to check out these Colombian coffees from them because they are smells absolutely fantastic. This coffee has a really, really interesting aroma. It smells like coconut cream pie and like a limeade had a child of love. <laughs> it's a fantastic smelling coffee, super creamy smelling. Um, it's just, it's wild. You gotta check it out. And this is the brew done with the Gen 2 burrs and also brewed in the Fellow Stag. These uh, both had about a similar uh, total brew time, about two minutes and 45 seconds. This does not have the same aroma. Same flavors are there, they're just a little more muted, I guess, if you will, not quite as, as clear um, as you, I can smell them in the uh, cast. Which one should I do first? I'm gonna do the, the uh, Gen 2 burrs first. Okay. It's really good. Really good um, intensity, uh, like acidity from like the lime and really good sweetness overall. Good, kind of that coconut flavor that's that's one of the notes of this coffee is really good, stands out. Really well balanced. That is a fantastic cup of coffee. Cast burrs. Mm. Okay, uh, way more of the lime, much brighter, more acidity and sweetness for sure. Not as much of the coconut sort of flavor comes through, but the, the lime and the um, acidity and sweetness is much more prevalent in the, the cast burrs. Definitely noticeable increase in sweetness and clarity and um, acidity in those sort of brighter citrusy flavors with the SSP cast and just overall really well balanced, good clarity of flavors, but not as much clarity as the SSP cast. So 
So I just had a, an idea pop into my head that I wanna kinda of do a blind taste test with these and see if I can actually tell the difference between these two birds because I figure that's probably helpful. They have cooled down, so the temperature's changed a little bit uh, and it'll just be a fun little exercise. So I put a little mark on the bottom of the, a little piece of tape on the bottom of the cast uh, burr brew and Marisa's gonna rotate these around. I'll do this one first. Okay. Okay. Um, this one, the, this one, the um, uh, flavor notes are a little bit more prominent. So I'm going to say that this one here is the cast. Oh, it's not. <laughs> okay. Interesting, it's not. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting though that as these cooled, the lime flavor of the uh, Gen 2s is a little bit more prominent than in the cast. That's interesting. But again, these are also very cold. Uh, so still an interesting comparison though. So as the cup cools, it seems like the Gen 2 burrs have a tendency maybe to increase a little bit more of that acidity and brightness uh, and sort of citrus note. Interesting. I still think, bang for your buck, the Gen 2s cannot be beat right now. They produce such a great cup of coffee, and for basically half the price, if not a little bit less than half the price, compared to some of the other burrs that are out there available on the market, I don't see how you could possibly go wrong with the Gen 2s. Sometimes these things are kind of hard to do, because again, it's all based around personal preference, but that's sort of my take on it. That's what my you know, taste buds are tasting at the moment with these two burrs. So I hope that was helpful in some way for you guys. I really appreciate you watching the videos. Thank you so much for the support. With that being said, we'll see you on the next video. Take care.